when the day bleeds. Something that I've been wanting to do for quite a while, but I'm such a hoarder that like literally every single time I plan on like throwing away certain things or donating certain things, I catch myself being like, you know what, maybe I'll need this someday or like me like, you know what, like I'll leave this here and I'll do it later, like I'll donate it later or throw it away later and like it never gets done. I have so many things in my closet and I'm telling you guys, I literally wear the same thing things every single freaking day. Ricardo and I filmed like three or four videos in a span of like one or two weeks and because the videos were kind of like spread out and like we weren't posting them like after we filmed them, we just kind of left them and then I forgot about them and then we would film another video and then I would kind of like store it and stuff and now that we're trying to post them, I literally have like the same shirt on for all of the videos, the same two shirts on for all the videos so I'm like oh my god how did this even happen and it's low-key kind of embarrassing but like it's literally gotten to that point. I wear the same clothes every single day. I thought this was going to be a good idea to get rid of all of the clothes that I don't use anymore and probably get a whole new, like, set of clothes. I don't really buy clothes all that often anymore. One, because I'm insecure about, you know, how I look nowadays because I've gained so much weight. And two, because... There's not a lot of things that I like. I go to the store and there's nothing that I like and I just leave empty-handed. But yeah, I'm gonna get rid of around 90% of my clothes I'm approximating right now, maybe less. I'll show you guys like how my closet looks right now. All right, so this is the left side of my closet. This is how it looks. So this is the left side of my closet. This is me and this is the right side of my closet. My closet looks like it has a lot of clothes and it really does, but seriously, I'm being completely honest with you guys, I wear the same clothes every single freaking day. I feel like in order for me to like make it urgent for me to like actually look for new clothes and buy new clothes, I need to like get rid of all of my comfortable clothes. All of the clothes that like I've been wearing a lot lately and they're super old and then like the armpit area gets super dark because of um, the deodorant and for some reason it only happens for some of my shirts um, this shirt for example um, the armpit area this is one of my most confused shirts and I don't know if I want to get rid of it I should probably use it as pajamas see you guys this is what I always freaking do I can't do this no but this shirt I will leave alright so let's start with this shirt right here this shirt, you guys probably like remember it. I've worn it in like all of my videos. I think this one has kind of an armpit stain too. Yeah, it does, definitely. You can see in this one, it's like darker. I don't know. I'm gonna tell you guys which clothes are like newer, as in like probably last year, because I'm telling you guys, I haven't bought new clothes in such a long time. And that's the reason why I'm always wearing the same clothes. I'm gonna say like 10,000 times because it's the truth. This one, this one, and this one. These are three of my newest shirts. I bought them at the beginning of um, my school year, so last year in like August or July, something like that. These are like my news. Actually, I think this one I got during Black Friday, but these two, they're um, from like last, last year. So those I'm gonna keep because obviously those are my newest kind of clothes. And I obviously have to stay with some clothes at least. This shirt, I've worn it in like all of my freaking videos and um, it's not in like horrible conditions, the armpit area is not that bad. Like I said, some shirts do it, some shirts don't. I think it depends on the fabric, like it'll absorb the deodorant more than others. But this shirt is around two years old. I got it for senior year, so yeah, this shirt's two years old. I'm gonna donate this one because it's not in that bad of condition, but it's just, I've just worn it so much that it's like, I literally, I can't, no more. Sweaters and cardigans I'm going to leave because I don't really wear those that often. Um, so those don't get worn out that much. This shirt is my mom's shirt. This is one of the shirts I said I wore like in three of the videos that I um, filmed for Ricardo Nice channel. This is Adidas pink shirt. It's really nice, but I already wore it like three times. I have to return it to my mom because there's no way I can freaking film it this shirt again. This shirt is like the newest shirt I have. And it's because Ricardo bought it for me. And I don't really even like it that much. I like how it looks. It's a really, really cute shirt. But it's really form-fitting. The fabric, like, you can tell, like, all of the freaking fat that you have. This shirt, I bought it with the other shirts that I had talked about. Like, the, um, this green one. But this one, unfortunately, I've worn it so much that this one does have an armpit stain. This is not that old, but, um, I mean, I've also worn it in a lot of my videos. And it's not in the best conditions. And then I had a phase when I was buying a whole bunch of crop tops like this one and it looks nice and all but I don't know what I was thinking because I don't wear them. I think this video is gonna definitely like make me start 
thinking about how much I would love to put on these shirts because these shirts are literally like brand new. Um, this shirt's from Zaffle. Zaffle, Zaffle sent me this shirt. This shirt, it's been, it, this shirt's like around four years old. Oh, this shirt I bought during the summer. It's a really cute yellow shirt. This is another one of those shirts where they're, this one's not as cropped, but it's like a little bit cropped. I'm putting them aside because I want to put them back when I have everything out. Oh, this one's a new one too. This one I bought for New Year's. Well, not new, new, a couple months ago, but, um, this is one of my newest ones, so I'm going to keep this one, but um, summer is definitely coming up soon, so I'm not going to be able to wear it that often. This Hollister shirt has the deodorant mark stains. I think this one's from middle school, you guys. I'm pretty sure this shirt is literally from middle school. I think this one's from 8th grade. That's like 4 years. And I still wore it, like, last year and stuff. Here comes another crop top from, you know, when I told you guys I was feeling a little bit ballsy. This one, too. This shirt here is from 7th grade, you guys. 7th grade. And literally, I wore it so much back in the day. I remember I bought this shirt for the beach because we had, like, a beach day. And I remember Ricardo, I thought Ricardo was going to go with me because he was invited. Because I remember only the students that had a 3.5 GPA and above were invited. And that semester, Ricardo, like, I don't know how he got it, but he got a 3.5 GPA. And I don't mean that in a bad way because I'm, Ricardo was really smart, but he's never really tried in school. But I guess that semester he really tried and he got 3.5 GPA. That semester he was invited with all of my friends. So basically all the people that were invited were for the most part honor students because they were the students that were getting 3.5 GPAs and above. And so since the honor students were like combined in classes, we like all knew each other. So it was basically gonna be an honors field trip and then like a couple of students from like regular classes that had gotten a 3.5 GPA. And Ricardo was invited, but since none of his friends were going and he didn't really know my friends that well, I honestly didn't even know him that well, like through text, yeah, but like we had never really hung out together before. So he ditched me, but I had already bought this shirt because I thought it looked cute and I wanted it to look super cute for him. But yeah, this is the shirt. There's a lot of memories behind this shirt, but I have to like let it go. It's truthfully such a problem, you guys. I'm such a hoarder. And this shirt, this shirt is from sixth grade, you guys. I have a shirt from sixth grade. <laughs> How, do you, please comment down below and let me know if I'm the only one with this problem. Because who keeps a shirt from... That's like six years ago. More, like seven years ago. Actually, I think it's from fifth grade. This shirt from Hollister has a really, really bad armpit stain. I think I probably didn't wash this shirt before I hung it up. Because the armpit... Like, the deodorant stain looks white. Like, it literally looks like I... That's really gross. I'm sorry if I'm grossing you out. And that's pretty much it. The rest of the stuff that's in my closet are either flannels, jackets, um, like this dress. This was the dress that I used for my birthday. <gasps> I just realized that I have a birthday get ready with me and vlog that I never posted from January. Oh my god, I probably should post that, huh? I had this dress on that day. Now I have the other side to do. The other side is filled with all of my dresses. All right, I have a strategy plan. Oh my god, <laughs> now I look weird right here. Okay, my strategy is gonna be, I'm gonna take out all of my dresses and then the dresses that I feel like I absolutely need, I'm gonna put them back in. If not, they're not coming back in. So I'm taking everything out. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put them on the bed and then I'm probably gonna switch the angle to over there so you guys can see me better. So I have you guys all zoomed in and I have the dresses right here on the bed. I have this dress. Um, I haven't worn it that many times. I do have an Instagram picture with it, but I'm still gonna keep it. This dress is from Ross and it literally fits so well, it looks so nice, and the feels, like, the material looks so nice. This dress right here is a dress I used for a quinceanera one time. I only wear it that day, but, um, I don't think I'm ever gonna wear it, so I'm gonna give this to my sister. This is, like, the first Hollister dress I ever bought. I remember I was so excited and I wore it so many times. This dress is from 7th grade, so I have to give it up because it's just way too old. This is a dress. It's like a velvet dress that I bought like two years ago. And I was going to use it for Thanksgiving one day. I actually did put, on, did put it on, but I remember I was just like so embarrassed that I took it off and I never wore it. This one's also uh, from 8th grade. These two right here. This one is my grandma's dress. I guess she never took it when she came over like last time. 
Um, but this one right here is a quinceanera dress that I used and it's really really nice And I would just give it to my grandma so she can take it to any of my cousins in Mexico or something like that Alright you guys, that's it for all of my dresses I'm gonna sort everything through I'm gonna put everything in each corresponding bag, label it And then I'll come back with you guys when everything is basically sorted out These are the only shirts that I'm gonna keep for my everyday use Obviously, I have a lot of crop tops like I told you guys pretty much didn't get rid of any of my crop tops because they are also new And I haven't ever really worn them this section doesn't really count because like I said I don't wear that but like my everyday shirts. I got rid of so many clothes I ended up leaving one two three four five six seven shirts here um, Granted I do have a couple that are in the washing machine right now um but that probably will equal out to maybe 10 or, I don't know, something like that. But compared to what I had before, this is literally it. Um, on the other side, I decided on the other side to um, keep my jackets and stuff like that. I had these over there before. I put my dresses over there instead. So I have four of my jackets here. And then like two of my flannels and this kind of like, I don't even know what this is. But yeah, that's basically how it looks now. I am literally so shocked at the fact that I literally only have these shirts now all right you guys so i'm not gonna lie coming into this i knew that i had a lot of clothes that were really old and a lot of clothes that i didn't wear at all anymore honestly i didn't think it was gonna be that many and it was gonna be such a drastic change um for the most part my closet might not look so so empty just because i didn't get rid of any of my jackets i left all of my jackets basically intact a lot of my dresses were gone i only left like maybe four four or five dresses um and then all of the crop tops i left all of those because like i said they're literally in the best condition ever because i hardly wear them those of you that are new and i'm barely realizing that i should have probably said it at the beginning of the video this isn't a hickey if you saw it it's not a hickey it's my birthmark um i've always had it and i feel like i don't have to explain myself i have so many stories about it you guys like you guys want to hear my stories about my hickey and what people have told me about it i'll comment down below but yeah it's not a hickey it's a birthmark and yeah, it is what it is. I hope this motivates you guys to do the same for your own closet. I know you guys have a lot of clothes you guys don't really wear, but y'all hoarding too. 